What's going on guys? Welcome back. Back with another one tonight. So we're going to be working on this 2004 Raptor 660 tonight. Um, it is a dual carb and right now it is running. However, it only really runs on choke. It kind of pops and spits. So uh, it has been sitting. So we're probably going to have to take the tank off, drain the fuel tank, put some fresh gas in it. Uh, it does have a full exhaust system and it also has a uh, K&N air intake with no air box lid. I'm not sure what size jets are in the carbs right now, so we're going to find that out as well. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. All right, so just to kind of give you guys an idea of what we're working with, like I said, 04 Raptor 660. It's a dual carb. Uh, we're also leaking a little bit of gas from the fuel petcock. You can see just the color of the fuel coming out. So I'm pretty sure that's part of the reason why we're having some running issues with it is... Uh, you know, bad gas, and also these carbs are probably dirty inside, and it may not even be jetted correctly. So, I'm going to show you guys what it's doing. I'm going to start it up. It'll run on choke, like I said, but it just it just runs like crap. It kind of pops and spits. too hot because i'm going to be working on it so yeah pretty pretty bad um so like i said i think that with just taking the fuel tank off draining the fuel tank pulling the cars making sure that they're clean and they're jetted correctly uh, i think that's going to do the trick so we're going to start taking the bike apart most of these plastics have to come off just to get the tank out and the carburetors out so let's get started All right, guys, so we got pretty much everything out of the way. We got the tank off. We got the plastics off, which you guys saw. Air box is out. Uh, the hoses for the air boxes are out. So now we can pull these carbs off, see what they look like inside, and see what jets are inside. Yeah, even the gas coming out of the float bowls is not the best looking. So definitely going to have to drain that tank and uh, put some fresh gas in it. So let's get these float bowls zipped off. All right, so let's see what these carbs look like. I'm guessing they're not gonna be the best. Actually, they're pretty clean, <laughs> surprisingly. Well, that's good. Less work, there's a little bit of crap in there, but at the bottom, nothing crazy. Let's see what this one looks like. Same, these gaskets are good. They're not super hard, look at that. Pretty clean. Let's get these gaskets out of the way. Those are nice and rubbery, they're not hard. So that's good. All right, now, Let's pull these jets out. Here's the pilots, and those are the main jets. I'm just curious to see what sizes they have in there. I 
definitely recommend guys if you're going to work on carbs or anything that deals with fuel throw some gloves on because that smell just stains your hands for so long all right so we got 22 and a half which i believe is stock let's see if it's clear yep it's clear just very small if i have them we're going to bump these up to a 25 side should be the same and uh, from what I've been reading online the main jets are supposed to be different sizes I think stock is like a 140 in one and like a 145 in the other so I don't know why that is but and yeah same size 22 and a half and that one is clear yep all right now let's see what size means we've got in here like i said stock is like a 140 and a 145 so everybody's saying to go up to like 150 155 160 you know depending on elevation so let's see let's see what's in this first carb so this has got a 145 well it, that's definitely been drilled out wow that <laughs> So I've seen this sometimes where people drill out the stock jets. You guys could probably see, see how big that opening is. This is probably like a 200. <laughs> and that's way too much fuel. Unless this has a bunch of motor work done, which it's possible. But that is just a way too big of a hole. That might even be like a 225. Holy crap. Yeah, that's, that's definitely overkill, unless this thing has a built motor, which I, I highly doubt it. Let's see what's in the other side. I'm curious. Yeah, you definitely don't want to just go drilling out jets, because then you can never really know what size jet you have, and you can end up just, you know, having replaced the jet anyway, so no reason to ruin a jet for no reason. Let's see what's in this side. It's probably the same deal stock but uh drilled out yeah so this is a 140 like i said stock but yeah same deal drilled out crazy big hole there yeah that's insane way too much fuel so in this case we're not going to be uh going up in size we're actually technically going to be going down in size because this is way too much fuel uh, unless, like I said, if this has a, if this was like a high compression motor, uh, you know, high compression piston, you know, you, the head was built and there was a lot of flow. Sure. You might need that much fuel, but this is overkill. So I'm going to see what I have for pilot jets. See if I have those 25s and then see if I have like a 155 and a 160. And that should be, that should be perfect for this setup. All right. So I don't unfortunately have the right size jets. So tomorrow I'm just going to get up. I'll go to my motorcycle shop and they should have the pilots and the main jets that I need. Uh, for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drain the fuel. I'm going to take the uh, fuel petcock off and make sure that the pickup tube that goes inside the tank is good. Um, a lot of times when you just leave old gas in the gas tank, it will disintegrate that. So uh, we'll pull it off and see what that looks like. And then I also want to clean the air box out because there's a lot of crap in there. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and clean the filter too. So let's do that. do this without making a mess. All right guys, so it is the next day. Uh, I went to the motorcycle shop. I was able to find um, the main jets that I needed. So I got a 155 and a 160. Uh, but they only had one 25 pilot. So I'm gonna have to run a 22 and a half in one and a 25 in the other carb. Uh, what the mechanic told me also is that the reason why the sizes of the main jets are different is because the side, the one carb that uh, has the bigger main jet, that is responsible for uh, basically the side of the engine with two valves. And the other carb is responsible for the side with one valve, if that makes sense. So he said, he said, put the smaller main jet in the side with the bigger, I'm sorry, put the smaller pilot jet in the side with the bigger main jet because that side is mainly uh, focused on the higher RPM range with the, the, the dual valves. 
uh, and put the bigger pilot in the other car because that carb is more for idle and up until like half throttle. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, the right side, so if you look at this side here, hopefully you guys can see, this side is the one that had the bigger main. So I'm gonna throw the smaller pilot in here with the bigger main and I'll put the uh, smaller main with the bigger pilot in this side because this is the side supposedly from what he was saying that is uh, responsible for idle and, and up to half throttle. So I'm gonna throw those in. Uh, I did end up I tried to get this pet cock out and unfortunately it just would not come out. It works fine, it just was leaking around here. So I just cleaned it really good with some brake cleaner. I put some RTV all the way around the edge. It's been curing overnight, so hopefully we shouldn't have any leaks. Uh, I tried channel locks, I tried everything. I really didn't want to have to break these screws or even break the pet cock because this is like 50 bucks from Yamaha and I don't want to have to wait a few days you know, to order one through Amazon. So like I said, it works fine. It was just leaking around the seal. I think the O-ring where the petcock seals to the, to the tank is probably bad. So I think with the RTV sealing it off, we shouldn't have any problems. All right guys, so I got fresh gas in the gas tank. The fuel is on. Petcock doesn't seem to be leaking, so that's good. Um, air box is just kind of sitting in there, but everything's, everything's pretty much mocked up. So I haven't started it yet. Like I said, fuel's on, choke is off. Let's see what happens. I still have that 22 and a half and one car. Idle's good up until about quarter throttle, so we should be good on the pilot and the fuel screw. I didn't even touch those, but we're still pretty lean from half to full, so either the veins are still too big, which I don't think they would be because it might just be getting too much fuel. Man, I wish I had the air box lid for this. I could put it on and see if that cleans it up. If it does, that means we know we're just getting too much air and not enough fuel. Um, All right, I may have to adjust the needles also from the top. So I might try to do that and see if that cleans it up. All right guys, so it is much later on in the day. Um, I fought with this thing for quite a few hours, swapping out main jets, going to a much lower main jet, all the way up to like 180 main jet. Still is the same thing. So uh, what I noticed though, was that the reverse light would flash when I revved the uh, bike in neutral which was weird to me. So I started doing some research and people were saying there's not only a neutral rev limiter, there's also a reverse rev limiter. So I didn't realize, but the reverse lim uh, rev limiter already had a bypass switch and it's on the back underneath the plastics. It's just like an on and off switch. So when I first got the bike, I didn't know what it did. So I just flipped it down, not realizing that was the reverse limiter. Um, so flip that switch on, reverse light doesn't, flash anymore and the bike will actually start and uh and rev out so um it won't it'll still like kind of stutter and and um bog down at on, during neutral when you're in neutral but it doesn't do it under a load when you're riding so uh yeah this was definitely uh more than i was expecting it to be i thought it was just going to be a simple car clean jet it and go but it's been a long day so thanks thank you guys for tuning in as always if you like the content make sure you like comment subscribe see you guys on the next one